Hello everyone. Hi Clem. Hi. Hi everyone. We are on the Empower journey for those who want it all. And this is your community to support your self-growth and live by your own rules. So we are in March and for this month, we decided to talk about why do you deserve the best? Tips to be assertive and confident. And our first question is going to be how deserving the best is good for you and others? Yes, thank you so much for this intro, Anna. Um, we thought that it was it was a very interesting topic because uh, it can be actually seen as something very selfish. Uh, there are a lot of people out there that think, mm, uh, do, do I deserve the best? And isn't that not very considerate for others? And should I be putting myself first? Like, is that is that the right thing? Is that very humanist or altruist? And 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 I think this this then becomes a very interesting question. Like, right? why do you deserve the best for you? Yeah, and and there is a big balance to find. Uh, I think in the and I think that really helping yourself is so connected. It, it really is um, so connected to helping others, right? Helping okay. yourself, starting with you, is the very very first step to actually have the consequence of helping of helping others. What do you think about that, Anna? Does that resonate with you? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Every when you were speaking, I was thinking of. Usually we feel that if we take something for ourselves, it means that we mm. take something from someone else. Like mm. if I have, it means someone else doesn't have it. Yeah. And that's really not an abundant mindset. And mm. I really disagree with it. We can, it's like the more the merrier. Yeah. But happiness, if you are happy and you bring happiness to everyone, it grows, you know, it doesn't have to have the scarcity mindset. So yeah, totally agree with you. Exactly, exactly. And it's really about also transcending this idea of competition. It's mm -hmm. like, uh, if others have it, then I can't have it. You know, it can be also the yeah. other side of the coin, okay. right? Yeah. And it, it's actually not that. It's not either you or either others or mm -hmm. either others or either you, right? It's both. Mm -hmm. It's you yeah. and others. And what really became really clear for me is that if you want to have a contribution to others, and as you said, like for example, happiness, you cannot help others with their happiness if you have not secured your own first. So yes, it's yes. yours first, because otherwise you're in no place to actually contribute, grow, help others with their own happiness if yours is not secure. Definitely. Yeah. So so it's it's really it's really a different way of viewing it, right? It's not like this competition of uh, is it me, is it others, is it but it's it's actually both, and it, you can only get get it actually if you have these two dimensions. Mm. It always reminds me of the story on the plane. You know, put your oxygen mask first yeah. to yeah. help the children, to help your neighbors, and mm. on. Mm -mm. Yeah, and it's so scary for a lot of people, isn't it? I remember um, talking to actually a few people about that, and they'd be like, "No, no way! I will put the oxygen mask on on the child first. There's no way." Yeah. I'll I, I take my, my myself uh, first for that, yeah, which is uh, which is so interesting, isn't it? There's mm. lots of how can I say that about sacrifice. There's yeah. um, you are a hero if you sacrifice mm. yourself, mm. but it doesn't have to be like that. You are a hero if you can inspire people. You are a hero if you can create good around yourself, and that starts with you, yeah. with you being happy, with you being aware of what you want to do in your life it's the same with money the lots of women are don't have a lot of money because they are too generous but they mean they sacrifice themselves so they are not happy and money is not love mm. money is not it's not the right resources to show people that you love them for example and yeah be be right to yourself first then you can help others be love yourself first and yes. then you can love people it's always start with you because yeah. we are the most important person in our lives mm -hmm. we can't be someone else we can't and even i know we talked about that in another episode but you 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 only can be yourself and if you try to do things for others sometimes your intention can be right but it's not mm -hmm. good for them mm -hmm. 
so yeah always start with you and then see if you can do something for people <laughs> exactly exactly it's first this inner balance and i think the example of money here is is amazing because mm. there are also people that find it very difficult to ask for money for the services for example they mm. they feel more confident they're just being volunteering giving 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 their time as you said like being very very generous and giving a lot of money as well to others and and it's like the door is shut when it comes to receiving for them. It's like, oh, yeah. no, 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 that's selfish. And there's all sorts of limiting beliefs, right? Connection to that. But while I think what when you understand that if your door is not open here, the flow of value cannot really happen and that you actually need this flow of value. It's not only money, right? It's also recognition. It's also the love. It also needs to come to you so that you are nourished you are nurtured and then you can give even more. So through you, there's this expansion, exactly as you were describing with happiness, right? Mm -hmm. And that there's this illusion of, if it's all about others, then it's great and I'm actually increasing and being of contribution. No, no, because you are draining yourself. And at mm -hmm. some point you may face burnout, you may face depression, you may face illness, mm -hmm. and that's going to stop you, prevent you from giving to others. You want that to be able to nourish yourself so that you can give more and beyond and grow that potential for you and for others. So I think that's really crucial. Mm. And sometimes we are not ready for what people gave us. It's like for like with the stars, you know, yeah. they have lots of money when they are young and we can see that they just burns all the money when they have when they are 18 or 21, yeah. depending on their their country and, and we can see that sometimes we need to grow to have things or to learn things and to mm. live things it reminds me of the story of the butterfly when the butterfly yeah. gets out of this cocoon it's a really hard experience for for the butterfly mm. because he really has with his wings to get out of the cocoon and that's so difficult for him mm. and there were scientists that decided to try to see what if ha what happened when they cut the cocoon so the butterfly can get out on its own mm. and then then they saw the butterfly they just get out of the cocoon and they went on the on the branch mm. and they just die mm. and that's really amazing because the butterfly has to go through this hard experience so yeah. its wings get the strength they had to fly and so the wings get the blood so they can fly mm. so sometimes we just need to to embrace suffering we just need to embrace the hard things because that's good mm. for us and if someone just take that out of us that's yeah. really not good for us so we really need to go through hard stuff and people has to go through hard stuff as well so it's always us, us, us. Yeah. And then we can give if the other one wants it and needs it from us. Exactly. This is just an amazing uh, lesson and I found it really, really inspiring where you, where you share with me when we were preparing the, the episode. Because uh, the, then the focus is, is about you. You yeah. only can do the job. So yeah. it, it really replaces the responsibility, right? And you have no responsibility in when it comes to others. This is an illusion. You cannot do the work for them. Only you can do it for yourself. And mm. there's plenty to do already for you. You know, think of this butterfly coming out yeah. of your cocoon. <laughs> Keep your energy for this, to grow your wings, to have this blood rushing into, into your wings and, and so that you uh, develop the resilience, the strength, then then, then, then you will need for your for your help and to fly along with other butterflies you know then then you'll be uh, a part of that community and and get this amazing uh, connections and, and and growing in in inside of the group so so having this other's dimension but it always starts with you yeah, yeah. And i definitely love the idea of inspiration inspiring people instead of helping them mm. just grow for yourself yeah. and then you can that's the best way to inspire people yeah. because we can see it with children. We can say lots of things to children. What works the best is to be a role model mm -hmm. because they are going to observe you and they're going to do exactly as you do. That's why yeah. children are playing with, uh, with food and they're cooking because they saw us cooking. Yeah. And yeah. it's the same when we are adults. What's really inspiring is to see someone being where you want to be and you're like oh my god if he did it i can do it as well 
and that's the best way to help people so if you want to help people start with you start yeah. with doing whatever you want to do start with being your amazing self yeah. and you're going to inspire people to be their amazing self as well exactly. and i really love that that yeah you're the most important people in your life never forget about that it's it's exactly true and that as a consequence as an amazing consequence on others because you are uh, walking the talk you know and you are leading by example and you become a lighthouse uh, as exactly exactly as you said then there's an inspiration it creates hope for others if she can do it and she's done it around on her own you know she's created that then maybe i can too maybe i've got that power this is really really empowering isn't it to see that someone else's can and uh, I found super inspired. I'm always super inspired of stories and uh, and um, and testimonials from from people that have achieved incredible things, whether the disability or I've experienced a a very very challenging trauma that I can not even you know conceive yeah. that they would be possible to survive from, and and how they they prove how much is possible, and. And, and, and always the journey is about themselves, about what they have done, about yeah. what they build, not, you know, not about others and not about, it, it's, it's really that. And that is so inspiring. And it shows that whatever your situation, whatever you've been going through, whatever happens to you, whatever the circumstances, there is, there is possibilities. This is amazing, isn't it? So much hope in that. Definitely. Yeah. And, and going back to this question of uh, wanting the best for you, you know, I think it's really important as well to sort of uh, reframe a little bit the perspective on this. What is the best? <laughs> yeah, what is what is the best? What does that mean? And, uh, and again, uh, the best can only be described by you. The best for you is as unique as you are and as unique as your as your fingerprint. Mm -hmm. And we have we tend to be, you know, as a collective, as a society, having a representation that maybe of something very exalted, like um, this, this party happiness type thing, maybe being on the yacht and drinking champagne every day. Well, let's, let's maybe reframe that and, and see it in a different way. And I like how other societies and maybe other cultures have a vision of, of happiness and, and that best, the success, as, as something that's maybe more of a contentment, more of a balance, more of a of an experience that's ongoing and more of a let more, I would say more balance and less high and very high and very lows. Mm. So we want we want higher, higher, higher. And we will still have this wave in life. This is part of life, right? Emotions come for us. We grow, we develop. So that means, yeah, there's going to be this. So we want that to increase and we want less of less of this, which is <laughs> which is really unbalancing and unsettling and has a consequence of that on others. Uh, as well and uh, and and money uh, money is amazing it's an amazing resource but as the example that you were uh, giving as well of, of star rich people that have a lot of money on a very early age does that get them happiness how many of them you know uh, are, do, are do, doing drugs are unhappy have depression have mental health issues uh, how many of them you know this is, this is probably one of the population where there's the highest unhappiness, oh. although there is the higher money, right? So it's, it's a resource. It's not an end game because you can end up chasing more and more money for the rest of your life and never getting that, right? Where's the next million? Where's the next? Um, and, and, and when will I be happy? I will be happy when there's mm -hmm. this next um, money, a next uh, house I'm going to buy, et cetera, et cetera. No, that's, that's not what the journey is about. Because if you, if, you, if you go with this mindset, uh, the yacht and champagne, champagne every day, and again, there's nothing wrong with this, you, yeah. you're never going to get the satisfaction in the, in the fulfillment that you're, that you're looking for. Yeah. yeah, that's so true. That's what we were saying about for those who want it all. Hmm. We never meant like being a millionaire, being successful. Yeah. If that's what you want, that's perfect <laughs> and i definitely want that for you but what we really meant is for you to be able to acknowledge yourself to know to know what you want with your life and to reach it it can be whatever living in the forest in a small cabin and going hunting every day i don't know it can be traveling all around the world and being a digital nomad it can be being a stay-at-home mom with her four amazing kids and 
whatever you want. What's really interesting for us is for you to be your truly authentic self, to be honest with you. What do you want? What is the best for you? If you had any consequences, if you had any problems, if you had if you could choose whatever you want to be, if you could have the more meaning in your life, what would it be? Yeah. And how to reach that? But by being yourself, if you have this desire, it means that you can reach it. And that's really what we want to what we want for you. So yeah. being really aware of who you are, having the clarity of what do you want for us is being assertive it means finding the meaning why do you want to wake up every morning what is this spark inside of you telling you that's what we want for you because this is the best for you and as Clem said I love when you say that you are as unique as your fingerprint so find this spark find who you are and just leave it every day wake up every day just telling yourself i am myself i want the best and i'm going to give it to myself that's the most important thing i'm so sorry my webcam is doing crazy stuff (laughs) i hope you won't do it for the episode (laughs) but yeah that's the that's the message the rules that you want to leave is the desire that you want it's what you want to bring into this world and that's amazing who you are and that's the best for you You're, you're flashing and sparkling. This is why you're yeah, this is the- <laughs> getting into the, the camera. And I, I, I love what you just described because then your the best for you becomes mm. a vision of an experience. Yeah. You know, and life is not about a number on, on the bank account or a, uh, a something to achieve that's on paper. Life is, is wow. to live, you know, and what is that life right now? for you what what is the feeling that you want what is it that you want to experience in your life that is much more interesting than comparing yourself comparing in status and and wanting to become yeah. a person at the end of the day you don't really mind this what you mind is what your quality of your life at every moment and and yes it, your environment matters your resources matters your goals what you do matters of mm-hmm. course you build that but what you are aiming for is this feeling, is this experience. And that's completely different, uh, a different perspective to- Definitely. Yeah. I remember a coach that I really love. She's this blonde girl every time wearing pink and like, so not who I am. And what I definitely love about her is she's who she is. Mm. She's so in tune with herself. She, you can see that she's in love with her life. She's in love with herself. And that's so beautiful to see. And mm. she really inspires me, not with what she does, but with how she is, with how she embraces herself. Mm. And that's pretty amazing. She's a real inspiration for me. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's really, yeah, again, going back to this idea of, of being a lighthouse, being a model of of how you experience your life and and just by being so true to yourself. And and so when you have this clarity again, this self-awareness, then you can learn how to be more assertive. And this was the the next question we wanted to to analyze and and share about with with you. How then do I become assertive? And what is it to be, what is it to be assertive? This is a notion that actually I, 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 I managed to grasp uh, quite fairly recently, if I'm honest. I, I, I heard the words, but I, I wasn't sure what, what it meant, really. And it's, I think it's a really, really beautiful, beautiful word showing. Um, and, and again, for, for me, for a long time, it was I, there was a, a fear of being selfish. So it was easier for me to uh, take into account a lot of others and to, to to really mind their feelings and you know care for their feelings and and it was it was easy for me to be all about all about the others and this notion of being being assertive and assertiveness uh, has, has really opened opened my eyes as I, I was playing as well with uh, helping myself and and starting with myself and it means to express your needs telling your truth with an amazing respect and love for the others. So again, this share of this love that you give to yourself as as a natural consequence is is very respectful and and loving for for others. And it means sometimes as well saying no, saying no. And I've I've learned I've learned to do that. And and moreover as well for me was the notion of, of, of being courageous, being courageous of showing up 
uh, as I am, which means that some people are not going to like it. And that's okay, isn't it? I don't like everyone and, and not everyone or every style is my cup of tea. Absolutely fine. So it's accepting that maybe you're not going to be liked by, uh, by others. And I think that the coach that you were mentioning, Anna, is a great example. She's showing up exactly as she is and she knows it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Oh, yes. And, and she's, she's fine with that. She's accepting that, which is which is an amazing, loving thing. Why is that? Because by loving your difference and mm. by telling your difference, by living your difference, you are loving it. You are also loving other people's differences. Yeah, definitely. Mm. We are like mirrors. Every time we see something we don't like in someone, it's because there is a part of us like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, if you love yourself entirely, it's really easy to forgive others for having the same default. It's really easy to embrace people. I remember uh, um, a saying about unconditional love. It's mm. so easy to love someone when everything goes right. But yeah. what happens when there's conflict? What happens when they show something that you don't like in themselves? That's where true love, unconditional love begins. Yeah. Because it's the same with us. There's parts that we really love. I like this. Mm. I like that but what happened when you are not courageous on something what happened when you snap at someone and you're like oh my god I shouldn't have done that that's okay that's okay we're human and embracing that embracing a default embracing things we do wrong is really important because we can embrace the world as it is the world is now nor amazing nor disgusting it's both at the same time and I really like to emphasize on the stop the or Yes. It's, it's always end yes. like a, a piece <laughs> a coins always have to faces you know so it's the same the world is as disgusting as beautiful we are as disgusting as beautiful and that's mm -hmm. what we need to embrace a relationship is the same yes. there's some bad things and there's some amazing things and when we are aware of that and we can embrace it that's where everything begins that's where we are limitless and yeah i love that yeah absolutely and uh I love how you articulated it really well with the aspect of a relationship and in, in communication, when you're being assertive, it always includes two parties, right? There's you, there might be a group of people, or it might be your partner, or it might be at work, it might be a client. And, and, and there's, there's this idea of uh, also sort of getting rid of this idea of perfection. I'm mm -hmm. not expecting perfection for me, and I'm not expecting perfection from the other. Mm -hmm. And this is what you do by embracing the, the difference and, mm -hmm. and for me personally I have uh, I've connected that as well in my past with a lot of fear and I was uh, I, I thought for a long time and that was you know an unconscious sort of limiting belief that there was only two options in life either mm. you are dominating others or you are being dominated by others okay <laughs> so when I've realized that that was the limiting belief that I was carrying mm. I, I started to build my own third choice as, as exactly as you say, it's not others or me, or it's not uh, me, but not others. There's no but or or, it's always and. And I build and de develop my vision of what it is for, for me. And again, it, it, is very, it is very unique. And that starts by the exploration of who is it that I am? Really detaching yourself from this idea of perfection. I should be perfect. I should reach this ideal, et cetera, which is, or th this is also a way of sabotaging when you push yourself like no pain no gain I should get there etc you are actually in in a very violent dynamics towards yourself while if you explore who you truly are and you are in a discovery mode then it changes it's not about creating building something you are not to build or to be created you are already who you are you are to be discovered by yourself right so I think this is this is a very very important distinction for for me. It's it's very liberating, so liberating. Definitely, I had a breakthrough. I think it was like two day, two weeks ago or something like that. Exactly about that, you know, embracing my difference, my imperfection, and embracing who I am, who I am, the, the the best I am and the worst I am. And it was really about what it was about. Um, about my mom, you know, she was always telling me I was different because 
of my story that I had a lot of differences from the other kids and from my sisters, for example. And she was always telling me, you're different because of this, you're different, you're different. And I always felt so much pressure about that to be mm. different, to be original, to be... Mm. And at some point, every time I didn't reach, you know, the point where I wanted to be, mm. I was feeling so, I was feeling really bad about myself. Like, mm. oh my God, I'm supposed to be different. I'm supposed to be better. I'm supposed to be, you know, and every time I didn't reach that, I was feeling so mm. bad. And mm. at some point I just realized, yeah, I will always be different because I am myself. There is one Anna Montan and that's me. So yes, I'm always be different, but in the same time, I'm just human. Yeah. So, so I will always be the same as everyone else. We all mm. feel shame, we all feel guilt, we all feel anger, we all feel the same emotion and we are the same. Our brains is pretty wired the same. <laughs> Our body is pretty done the same. So we will always be the same and different. And that's something that I really felt for the, the first time. I don't have anything to prove. I don't have to achieve anything because the fact that I'm just me mm. is like everyone else. And at the same time, is pretty awesome and so different because it's, mm. it's me. And I really felt like, let's be, let's be this piece of the puzzle, you know? There is a huge puzzle and I am one piece. I'm different from every other pieces, but in the same time, I just, I'm just one piece. Yeah. So yeah, let's just surprise being this piece of puzzle and be a part of the puzzle. And that's, for me, that's all we have to do. Just be your true self and be authentic and embrace that. Exactly. It is, it's it's mm. just amazing how you describe it because when you manage to reframe and, and change your frame, you, yeah, your thinking frame and your, your vision, then there is no more failure. Yeah. Failure is, is an illusion that we create by this uh, reaching for perfection, this uh, pushing ourselves so much and being... We're so hard on ourselves, aren't we? Judging, criticizing, and, mm. uh, and imagining what others are expecting of us, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm. So once you let go of this, yeah. there is only becoming yeah. you more and more, letting that be here. Mm. And this is so well described, also in your approach. So it's it's um uh, it made made me think your your analogy of the puzzle made me think of your your drop in the ocean. But you're also the entire ocean. I mean, we oh. are, we have a human body. Mm. We have a human life. It comes with all that it comes with, a nervous system, emotions, thoughts, challenges that actually enabled us to grow strength as well as we, we, we discussed with the butterfly um, comparison. So we have all of that as mm. all other humans have. So it makes us special and not special at the same time. It makes it about us and about everyone else at the same time. So it creates really this union and we can breathe, you know, we can, we can, we can be reassured. We find some peace of mind. Definitely. The only thing I have to do is be myself. Definitely. Be myself. My only job ever. Yeah. For that, I really want people to understand that what you say to yourself is really important. What are the stories you tell yourself? I'm so yeah. sorry for my webcam. <laughs> what are the stories you tell yourself? Because we can, we, we, we can create this bubble around us mm. with lies, with so many lies about ourselves. And it's really easy to fall into the trap and, and, and stay stuck in this bubble. And there's no science to back up psychological fixism what it means is your identity doesn't exist except what you want mm -hmm. to show to people what you want to be so that means you can be everything you can be the I, I hate when people say but that's what that's why i am since 10 years yeah and you can decide in one second to stop being that yeah so Again, dream, dream. What do you want to bring in this world? Yeah. Which piece of puzzle do you want to be? Mm. And it's not because you were in this 
in a state of mind for 10 years, for 20 years, for 50 years that you can change, you know? I used to be messy and I'm not anymore because I've decided that I don't want to be messy anymore. I used to be, you know, there's so many things that we can change. It's just behaviors and behavior starts from thoughts and thoughts start from your brain and you can control your brain. So really understand every stories that you tell yourself about yourself. You are not what you don't want to be. Mm. If you want to stop being mean, you can stop. If you want to stop being whatever you don't like in yourself, you can stop mm. that. And if you want to be more of, you mm. can as well. And just, yeah, realize what, what your brain is telling you because you can change that. And that's really important. Storytelling for me is really, really important because sometimes you can have excuses and they are not real. You can have beliefs and they are not serving you. And that's okay. You can just take the time to being aware of them and take the time to decide what what's best for you. And about what you were saying about being yourself and just embracing who you are because that's the more important. I remember so many friends, you know, when they started being a, in a relationship and they're like, I need to be like that and like that and like that. So he loves me. And I was always, but if he loves you for what you're not, Mm. what's the point yeah what is the point of being loved for being someone else what is the point of living a life that you're not happy to to live just because you don't listen to your desire and you don't listen to yourself Mm. there is no point in life for that Mm. um yeah so being assertive for me is really being aware of who you are and accepting who you are so you can really create this life that you long to that yeah. you are happy with mm. yeah. absolutely I, lo- I love all the connections and it is it is so important because um and i think this is really the first step of of, of being assertive it's mm. watching what is the story in your in your mind first mm. and and from that you if you if you become aware of the limiting beliefs of the things that are limiting you in in what you tell yourself and you work on that first, then you can be more assertive as well with others and show really for who you truly are. Uh, so again, in this, this is again the same, the same, um, the same pattern, isn't it? You start with yourself, and then you're able to be yourself around others and more and more. So it's uh, it's it's so it's so important, so crucial. Hmm. Sure. Yeah. So that leads to the third question. Mm-hmm. Being assertive is also really linked to confidence. Yeah. So how to grow confidence, how to grow the skills of embracing who we are and showing it mm. to the world. Yeah. So when, when we were preparing this, this episode together, we, uh, for, for us, it's, it's more of a, actually of a consequence, that the confidence comes as a consequence. Uh, because going back to what you were saying, no point in faking it no point in fake you can do that you can learn how to do that i mean if you go on on um on some trainings on communication trainings you can uh you can fake it you know you can you can learn how to seem confident and and but what's the point again you know what what what's the point of living a lie while if you actually take those steps which which starts with the self-awareness knowing yourself uh, very deeply then uh, looking at the story that you tell yourself so that you can be more assertive with the story you tell others and create different relationships and not being afraid of what they think of the feedback you might you might receive being really really open really true from that you grow true confidence i i believe this is really true confidence so it's not it's not about the idea of being superior or being inferior to others uh, but really showing up with your difference and how it is and owning it, having a sense of ownership of, uh, of, of this is me, this is me guys, this is me, the world. Hi, hello. <laughs> the, and, 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 just, and just this is, a, is, is sort of free of ego as well, because it's not about being best or you know, connected to, the, to this idea of competition. It's not about reaching this perfection that is an illusion anyway, that like I can never get to, but it's just really about, okay, what's here now? Who am I right now? And, and how can I support myself, respect myself, love this? Uh, mm. And that, as a consequence, brings the confidence to yourself. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for us, confidence is really, as you said, a consequence. It's like a virtuous circle of yeah. knowing yourself. Yeah. 
thing. Because when you know yourself, you know your desires, you know what you want to do, you know the meaning you want to give to your, your life, then you act, you yeah. do things. And then when you do things, you can see the results of these things. So take your time to get this feedback so mm. you can really grow this confidence. When I learn public speaking and then I go on a conference and I speak and I see that the public is really happy about what I said, mm. I have the feedback of, yes, now I'm getting better and better at public speaking. So I'm good at public speaking. So I can do another conference and then, and then, and then. Mm. And that's how you build your confidence by knowing yourself, then going out into the world and showing you who you are and having the feedback. Mm. So what are the tips to better know yourself? Mm. Yeah, it's a, I, I love what you emphasized on action. It's really about, about doing. It's really, mm. it's really that, that ultimately Build your build your confidence. Um, I remember um, my my mentor when I was doing my coaching training when we were mm. talking actually about public speaking. He said the only way to learn how to do public speaking is to do it, <laughs> and only by doing it then do you grow your confidence into into doing it. So uh, if we if we go back as we said we we have identified different steps right. So uh, to help you with this self awareness process, getting to know who you are. Uh, so different tips that we can use would be around uh, creating a routine for yourself. It's really, again, it's not about what you do once a year, okay? And this amazing workshop or course that you're going to take in your summer holiday in Bali and you're going to do yoga. This is amazing. Do it, guys. But if you bring all this good into your daily life, into your routine, then it's going to really transform and change your, your life and give you more and more access to who you truly are. So, uh, of course, yoga can be great, meditation, all sorts of works in personal development, in, in coaching. This is, this is really enabling you to have access. And the more you have access, the more you can leave that, the more you can let it shine, let it show. Yeah. Do you have anything to add to, uh, to this for the self-awareness? Self-awareness. Yeah. What I said about limiting beliefs is, for me, it was a, a, a yeah. huge transformation yeah. you know every time i was listening <laughs> this coach i was talking about she always like know what you want when you know what you want listen to what's going on in your head yeah i want this promotion okay yeah. what's going on in my brain right now you want to have this promotion because of this 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 person uh -huh. is going to rob this promotion from you or you are not confident enough to get this promotion or have you seen your results listen to that and that's the storytelling you're telling yeah. yourself that the stories you need to get rid of so you want this promotion listen to every excuses that you have if i get this promotion i will have to work harder yeah. i don't know that is yeah. it true you don't know it yet because you didn't get the promotion yet uh -huh. so really uh -huh. listen to your limiting belief that's so important and get rid of it and mm. just try act on it mm. and that's really how you will that's a reflex you should have to just mm. feel limitless in everything in your life that's really for me to, to listen to myself i was telling you i was uh, i'm now in toastmaster and there was some things going on to my mind. So don't do that because it's going to be this, this, this. Is it true? No. Oh, that's some yeah. fears going through my mind, but that's not true. Yeah. So really listen to yourself. For me, that's, yeah, that's a routine I have. And yeah, that's really important. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's so important. And, and you have to catch it as it happens. So again, to this idea of implementing, it's not just like twice a month or something. It's yeah, yeah. Every take, day. The habit, yeah, take the habit <laughs> of doing it. in your mind every day. <laughs> exactly. And you know that actually by a, neg a negative emotion, usually it's the sign. And then you can, you can look for it. Okay, what am I telling myself? And as you say, for me, it's, it, it's really helpful to see what is the lie? What yeah. is the lie? So do not believe it. Assume that it's not true and look at it as a lie. And then you can, uh, what, what can be helpful for, for some people is to, is to then create your own belief, okay. your yeah. own uh, powerful belief that you're going to substitute to this stupid limiting belief that we yeah. all have, it's absolutely normal. Uh, yeah. And so you can, you can really uh, create this positive, this positivity, this empowerment inside of your, inside of your head of the truth actually what is the truth no you are worth this promotion yes you can do it yes you have the competencies yes you have proved it 
by so many years working in this company, okay? And so you want to bring that as an alternative to those lies and limiting beliefs. Definitely. Yeah. And for me, knowing yourself is also owning, I love when you said that, it's also mm. owning who you are and owning mm. your desires. Mm. You want to do something, give it a go. Yeah. Try. Yeah. Because you will expense who you are. Mm. Okay, I want this promotion. I'm not sure. Just get it. Yeah. And you will see, maybe your fear was right because that's not what you really wanted because you just wanted the status. Or I want to, I don't know, just do it. The only way you will know if it's good for you is by doing it, is by trying. And you will learn, you will grow. And that's what's good in life is to experience, as you said, Clem. And you need to experience life. Don't yeah. wait for your life to happen. Experience it, live it. And um, yeah, with your desires is really, yeah. I think it's a great way to know yourself, know how good you are, know a bit confidence as well. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. And I love how the fact sometimes like, I, I can see that in my mind, like I'm trying to rationalize something that I want. Yeah, but you see, but this, but that, what? I mean, this, this doesn't have to be rational. Your <laughs> yeah. desires, what you want, I have mm. nothing to do with rationality. And that's absolutely, absolutely fine. You do not need to argue arguments like this is what I should be doing because no, it's a gut feeling. It's an instinct. You want that? Yeah. That's, that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. Act on it and you find out and then you take the next step, you know, because there's also, I think it's really connected to this idea of um, uh, this pressure of perfection, this idea of I should get it right, like if I create my own business, it has to be the right thing straight away and I can't change it, I have to, you know, I have to succeed and, uh, and no changes or mistakes are allowed. You know, get rid of that, that's another one, that's another limiting belief. <laughs> this, is, this is not life, this is not life at all, just go with your, go with your gut, go with your, your instinct. This is the true you speaking, speaking yeah. through. And sometimes that's hard because we always see in this this way, you know, I'm here, I want to go there and it's hard for me to go there. I had an experience recently on the other <laughs> way. I was there, I had a huge contract with a, a, a great company and I wasn't, unha I wasn't happy in it. I wasn't happy, but it gave me status, it gave me money and because of that, it was really hard to say no, as you were saying, Clem, mm -hmm. sometimes saying no is really difficult because we, we are afraid to hurt some people, but sometimes we're just afraid for us, you know, yeah. and it took me a lot of time. It took me a hard, a hard time to, 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 to quit this. Mm. And it was an amazing thing. Yeah. And saying no is being assertive, saying yeah. no is opening another door for yeah. you. And sometimes it's really what you have to do. So yeah. it's not just uh, listening to your desires to go yeah. forward. Yeah. Sometimes it's listening to, the dear, to your desires to quit. Yeah. And that's okay. That's, that's definitely true. okay. Because every time you close the door, lots of others are opening. And that's really important for you to to listen to yourself and yeah. that's it yeah yeah that this is this is this is really important and i've definitely played with that as well uh, a lot and uh, and found it very difficult to say no for for a long time um and uh, and but i i loved the uh, the reframing of that actually and that's something i learned in in also in the coaching training is that when you actually choose to say no you are saying yes to something else or maybe other things, or maybe multiple things, actually. Mm. And by uh, choosing what what time you are going to, uh, uh, you're going to, for example, if it's if it's a job or if it's a business or a contract, the time that you are going to allocate this time that could be in this contract is then going to serve this and this and this and that, and that really helps because then it, you, you're reframing the no. It's no longer a no. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm saying no, so I'm opposing, I'm, uh, that can create conflict, that can create this. No, I'm actually saying this, yes, to this, yes. this, this, and that. And this is my priority. This is what I really want. And this is how I'm really, really aligned to myself, to my positivity, to who I, who I truly am. And, uh, and, and it's, it's really interesting your experience, isn't it? Because in the end, your experience is super positive. You are super glad that you did that and you knew it was the right thing to do. And it took a bit of time, which is absolutely fine. But in the end, you managed to, to take that right decision. 
for yourself. And, and this, this is the process of being, being aligned. So I like to reframe that into, there isn't really a no, there's actually, look, look for the yes, that's no. gonna help you. Saying yes to. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Being assertive is really asking yourself every day, what do I want to say yes to? Yeah, yeah. Prioritizing is this, you know, what do I want to say yes today? Right now, what do I want to say yes to? Is that's it right. to me? by taking care of me or by, I don't know, doing some sport or resting <laughs> to people because I want to have social life right now and that's really important to me. Is it to work because you want to achieve something in work and that's the time right now to work. Mm -hmm. So yeah, being assertive is like, you know yourself, you know what you want, you know, you listen to yourself and you just decide right now, okay, I want to say yes to that and I go for it. Mm. And it helps so much in, in the way it is received by others as well, because you can explain, okay, I'm saying no to this project because I'm saying yes to this, this and that. And you'll be surprised in how many cases actually people are supporting you and they say, well, amazing, I understand, you know, there's a, mm. it, it makes sense, it makes sense for you, I, I wish you the best. While mm. if you just say no and you'll be unsure and they can feel that in you and you're not certain, then you, you're going to come across as well of, of less assertive, less, less sure, less you know, strong in your, uh, in your position. Uh, so it really makes a difference as well in, in your experience of maybe uh, saying something that can be difficult, like, you know, making, making yeah. a decision and, and, and talking to people. So it's a, it's really a win-win. Mm. Definitely. Yeah. And with this, it's still the <laughs> freedom vs commitment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When you know why you say yes to something that's really easy to commit, that's really yeah. easy to get discipline because yes it's so easy to say yeah i want to be to do more sports every day mm -hmm. and that's it yeah so you will do it once because will motivation is okay it's good for once or twice mm -hmm. but then you need something more than motivation you need to keep mm -hmm. having this motivation every day to to commit and to be really engaged in whatever mm -hmm. you want to do mm -hmm. and by always reminding you why you want this why mm -hmm. you want to do some sport every day why you want this promotion or why you want to quit for example yeah. why do you say yes to if you can remember that every day it's going to be easy for you to be disciplined it's going to be easy for you to choose and as we say, I had so it was so hard for me to choose because choosing was against freedom. Mm -hmm. But right now, I feel like it's the contrary. Yeah. When I choose something and I'm disciplined and I'm happy, mm -hmm. that's everything I want. That's freedom. I find my freedom in the commitment. Mm -hmm. And that's so important to be proud every evening of, okay, I've decided to do this because it's good for me, because I want to, because it's my, de my desire. And I've done it. Yeah. And this confidence in myself for doing it, it's, it's everything in the world, you know, it's really everything, it's the best feeling ever. So yeah. every morning, just remind that, what do I want to do today? What do I want to experience? What do I want to say yes to? What is my, how can I express my freedom, express who I am and express me, my freedom every day? Yeah. And that's so important. And, and naturally, naturally confidence is then a consequence that shines through everything everything you do everything you say yeah. um, and and it becomes an experience it becomes mm. an experience of how you feel about about your life about your choices about your your, your daily routine about about everything that that you go through in the day so it's uh, it's it's really the, the only way to reach true confidence mm. true mm. and then the hardest step <laughs> <laughs> count your victories you will have feedback and it's time for you to just recognize it mm. recognize when you're good recognize when uh -uh. in the end i don't really like that oh that's okay yeah. <laughs> it's okay that you don't like the new status it's okay that you didn't reach whatever you wanted to do it's okay to quit because that's not good for you it's okay to be proud of yourself it's okay to love yourself it's okay everything is okay just mm. it's okay as long as you recognize it and you do something yeah. about it if it's not good and you yeah. brace it if it's good exactly exactly and so and so you become curious about the journey about where things are taking you because there's 
this, this, from this aligned place, it, there's a clarity of what your next action should be. But you also know that you do not control the outcome of these actions. You do your best, you show up, you have this clarity, and then you let go and you see what happens. And, and then you take the next step from, 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 where that, from, from what had happened. And mm. that really, that's really also uh, freeing because it, it, it lifts the pressure out of you. It lifts the pressure out of the circumstances, out of life, and you, and you just discover. And, you, you, and by becoming truer and more aligned, uh, opportunities and, and actually what happens is uh, actually naturally grows. Um, I know that it's something that we hear a lot and that might be for a lot of people a bit conceptual and we're not, we're not sure. But from this growing feeling inside of confidence and alignment, it, it's magic in what manifests in uh, outside of you in life. Mm. And, and because you show this confidence, you show who you are, as we said, you inspire people. So people mm. are, going, are going to be attracted to you for who you are. Yeah. And that's the best ever because you will attract people and attract situations and all that from yeah. who you are, from this space where you are aligned, when you know what you mean to the world, where you really love and embrace yourself. So everything that will happen is going to be in consequence of that. Yes. How you show up in a, it's like when you're in a bar or in a pub and someone enters the pub and you're like, oh my God, there's something from this person. You don't know the person, <laughs> but there's something that, wow. And that's what we are talking about. If you go to get your promotion with this sense of confidence, with this sense of, yeah, mm -hmm. I've stopped telling lies about myself and I'm ready for it. Mm -hmm. Even in a relationship, when you meet someone and you're like, okay, I love myself. I won't take your bullshit. I won't take everything else except love and except growth. The other one will feel it. Mm -hmm. And if it's okay with him or with her, they yeah. will stay. If they are not, they will go and that's how you can attract or leave things in your life yeah. because you are because you have this sense of awareness this sense of self-love and this sense of no i won't accept lies anymore i won't accept bullshit and all that i want this because i deserve this i deserve the best my best i deserve my best yeah yes yeah yeah magic that's true magic <laughs> yes it is you deserve your best and this is really a uh, we hope that we can share this message with you and you can uh, really start believing it, start living it on, on, a, daily, on a daily basis. And um, so the, the next section of, um, and the last section of, of, the, of the show is, is about the tips to younger self. And uh, personally, I can, I can say that I could have, ha I could have used that, uh, that episode <laughs> when I was younger. <laughs> uh, because, because yes, the, the, the perspective and the, and just, you know, the big, it's a relief, isn't it? I, it, it really is like th this for me. And that I would like to share with this with you as, as an experience. If I could summarize it in, in, one, in one expression, it would be this. <sighs> relief, you know, breathe, be yourself. This is, this is all good, you know. Uh, it's, it's all happening in the right, right time, right place. And if I could go back in time, I, mm. I'd really tell myself, because I know I was struggling with it in, when I was younger, it's not either you or others. Stop, yeah. stop that. Transcend that idea. The idea of you have either to be dominating or dominated. The yeah. truth way is both you and others. It's the only way to be truly in empathy, truly in unconditional love. It applies to you first, and then it from there it expands and uh, and can be spread to the rest of the ocean. But first, take care of that little drop. <laughs> and if I don't care. For myself love myself i'm in no place to be of service of others which is ultimately my 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 goal you know my mission my my vocation what i want to be in this world uh i have to apply to myself first so that i can be that for for others <laughs> yeah. i love whatever <laughs> everything you just said for, for me it's it would be it's safe to be who you are yeah like the real yeah, the feeling of being myself, um, living whatever I was living, it's safe and it's okay. Mm. I'm not perfect. I don't have to achieve or do anything. I'm not forced to do anything. It's just because I want to. I am human. Mm. So I am like everyone else on this earth. And in the same time, just because I am, 
me. I am. I will be always different, and I will be always unique. And it's the same as you are saying. It's not or. It's mm. and. I am human, and I am myself. And just be being myself is safe. Just being myself is perfect in its own way. You know. Yeah. And yeah, that would be what I said Love to my inner self. Yeah. It's safe to be you. In every. In every part. Every yeah. Place, yeah. It's safe to be me. Mm. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much, guys, for following us for this uh, for this episode. Please do subscribe to our channel and on the on the podcast if you're if you're rather of a podcast person. Do subscribe so that you get all the new uh, episodes were coming and next very soon with an amazing guest who's going to share so that there's more empowerment around this team, this theme of uh, uh, why you did this the best and how tips to be more assertive and and, and confidence. Uh, it would be great to hear from you if you want to reach out to us. You can find us on, on LinkedIn. You can send us an email at theempowerjourney at gmail.com. Thanks, guys. Bye. See you Bye. soon. <laughs> Have a lovely day. Thank <laughs> you.